Hey, what's up adventurers? Welcome back. So today's video is gonna be about ghosts. This is gonna be the second vlog style video I do specifically for him. We're kind of picking up the pace here now. We're adding a little bit more videos for Fenrir and for ghosts. There's a routine going on and that's what I'm hopefully trying to do with my channel as we continue to grow. At the making of this video, we're at 75 subscribers. So I'm kind of interested to see how many we have when I release it. Anyways, let's get into the video, which is about Ghost and how much he sheds. So the earlier video was about Fenrir. This was gonna be a lot calmer. The Argentinos do not shed as much as Huskies, obviously, right? They have very thin hair. You don't really have to worry about shedding. I know a lot of people ask me questions on Instagram. Super weird. Nobody comments on the YouTube videos, but I get like loads of messages on Instagram for both for for both Fenrir and Ghost. So I'm like, okay, I'm about to take off my Instagram <laughs> my Instagram account so everybody can comment on my videos. But anyways, and one of the comments that I usually get is how much he sheds. And I mean, we're in spring, right? So it's the perfect time to talk about this video. They don't shed a lot. Some people are telling me that they're reading and that they're seeing that the, that the Guarquentinos are like four out of five when it comes to shedding. No, it all depends on what you feed them as well. So if you're feeding your dog a bad diet, they're gonna shed regardless of the breed. They need to have a healthy diet. They need to have their vitamins, their supplements. They need to have a good all around diet so that they don't shed. Are you showering your dog? Are you brushing your dog? Is your dog clean? These are three things that are affecting how much your dog is shedding. And I'm not like a hair groomer or anything. This is all information that you can find online. So, and with my experience with Ghost is that we went through the kind of like this month of just hectic weather here where it was just one day it was 90, the next day it was 60, it was awful. And it was pointless for me to shower him. So I was just kind of like brushing him with a, with a towel that we have when he goes outside and gets dirty because the Argentinos live for that, they live for getting dirty. And what I noticed throughout that month was that he was shedding a lot more than he usually does. So I was like, okay, now let me shower him. I showered him. I When I shower them, I have like a little hair dryer, so I just blow their hair. He's not really a fan of it, but nonetheless, I'm just there for like hours just waiting for him to dry up. Imagine, fan. But once I did that, the shedding stopped. He just stopped shedding. Like there's no more hair anywhere. And it's awesome. Just brush him, shower him, make sure you get, cause you have, to think, you have to understand that if your dog's running around and the hair is just building up on him, you gotta brush it off of him so that you don't have to deal with that issue where when you try to hug your dog, you're just like, Ugh. I was just hugging him right now. Like, like I'm dirty, but there's no hair on me. And, uh, there's like two hairs on me, right? And I was just all over him right now. Um, so that's so that's something to consider, right? Shower your dog, feed them right, groom them, brush their hair, make sure that all that excess hair is gone, and you won't have a big issue with the dog argentino. For those of you that are looking into getting a dog argentino, and maybe you read somewhere that they're really bad shedders, and you're gonna have to deal with getting those lint rollers and doing all this to your carpet and your doors and everywhere no they're like a two out of five to be honest they do shed but it's moderate it's nothing crazy it's nothing that's gonna drive you insane shower your dog brush their hair you won't have an issue i can promise you that feed them right feed them the right diet too if you're feeding them a puppy chow I mean, I'm not trying to dog on people, right? But they're missing a lot of nutrients and they're more than likely going to be shedding because of that. Some dogs like Fenrir shed more during certain times of the year, right? When spring comes, he's just getting rid of that upper coat. It's hectic, it sucks. Do dog Argentinos have that issue where certain times of the month, certain times of the year, they shed more than others? Not that I've noticed, no. What I've seen is that Ghost actually sheds the same across the board from January to December. Well, it's actually one month apart, right? January, December. From January to, I don't know, June, right? From January to June, from June to 
December, same amount of time, nothing changed, nothing. So that's a good thing because now it's easier to maintain him. You don't have to be there in March madness just grooming him like no, you just do the same thing you've been doing all year long. It's awesome, honestly, it's awesome. It's very low maintenance. They're low maintenance dogs when it comes to their coat. What isn't low maintenance is the fact that they have a white coat and they get dirty for everything. So that isn't low maintenance, unfortunately. And they get sunburn and they get all this sorts of stuff, man. And they love it too, that's the bad part. You know, it would be easier if the dog had a white coat and he's okay with just being home all the time, but they're very active dogs, so. Yeah, the white coat. But it's beautiful, man. Like, once you shower them and once you really clean them up from how dirty they are, the white coat looks amazing. It's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Especially, like, when the sun hits it. And it sucks because in the videos, when we're going hiking or we're going walking or on runs, it's hard to kind of edit because Ben is black and Ghost is white. So you're kind of like stuck like, man, do I lean towards ghosts? But then the sun hits his back and it just reflects and you're kind of like, oh man. So it's a little bit difficult for people to see through a camera because of their white coat and the sun and all these elements, they really attract everything. So, but I'm telling you, when you see them in person, it's, it, they're beautiful dogs. Now, I want to mention something because this is something that I think people who are interested in getting a Dogo Argentino should know about is that because they have a thin coat and because they don't have that much hair they do love sleeping on couches on carpet on pillows any of uh, blankets anything that can they can keep warm they love it conversely my other dog he has so much hair that he hates sleeping on couches on carpets on anything that's fluffy basically because I think he gets hot so he likes laying on the floor where it's cold. Ghost doesn't like laying on the floor where it's cold because he has a thin coat. So he prefers going and sleeping on in his cage literally like he goes to his cage for everything because he loves it there I don't know he's weird. And he loves his little blanket he loves his own types of stuff. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about getting a dog argentino you don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about them chewing up your your mattress or anything because they'll be too busy enjoying the heck out of it so that's something to consider too and that actually wraps up today's video it's rather short i wanted to keep it short and to the point and i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did go ahead and pause that like button leave a comment down below subscribe and nothing but peace and love from my pack to yours